Osoye Oyinlola, a former governor of Oshun State, has said that former President Olushe Gombasanjo warned him and other Yoruba leaders against supporting the candidacy of President Muhammadu Buhari, but they did not listen to him. So why didn't you guys listen to him? Why didn't you guys listen to him? We have a younger ones who were not even born as at when Buhari was the head of state. But because of what they saw, what the antecedent and what they read, but you guys that experienced all of those things, well, they, you must have a reason for doing that because, like they always say, nothing goes for nothing. And all of you thought maybe you were going to get something, but at the end of the day, the whole thing has really backfired. Uh, even Obasanjo himself, he did not campaign for, in the first time he campaigned for Buhari, Say Buhari might be better than Gulag Jonathan. It was in the second term, 2019, that he made a U-turn. Where? Well, made a U-turn. The former governor disclosed this while speaking with BBC Yoruba. Oyelola did not specify whether he meant during the 2015 or 2019 general elections. The former governor expressed his displeasure over Buhari's reversal of his assurance to embark on restructuring. A selling point of his presidency to the Yoruba people during the elections. Unilola, who spoke in Yoruba, said, I am saddened that Buhari did not know what restructuring is now. I know the roles I played for Buhari to become the president of Nigeria, but sadly, none of the promises he made had been fulfilled, especially on the security issues. It was like Boko Haram would be forgotten within the six months of Buhari's arrival. Olusha Gobasanjo warned us that Buhari cannot carry the burden of Nigeria, but we did not listen to him. Like uh, it's been specified here, or it's been talked about here, whether it was in 2015 or 2019, because I remember vividly that Buhari, or Obasanjo himself, he supported him. He supported him. And you see the likes of uh, Tinumbu as well. At the end of the day, what are you going to say? Is it all about the people or their own selfish interests? It is not glaring, but unfortunately, some people do not see, understand it. That all these politicians, they are doing this because of themselves, not because of you, not because of the masses, but because of what they want to get. But at the end of the day, they see all the problems that uh, the whole, whole country is encountering, especially from the Southwest. Tinubu will never come out and say, oh, this is it. Speak truth to the power. Instead of meandering, speak truth. Because they, they cherish this, uh, their, their political ambition, which is not even beneficial to the country, not to talk of the masses. They are concerned about that. Now all of you are crying now. Who are you going to hold responsible? Who told you Buhari does not know the meaning of restructuring? He knows. He does. But the problem is that they know what they are doing. And that's why they will come up with all these uh, rhetorics. Oh, restructuring means different things to different people. If restructuring means, what do they mean by restructuring? Like, seriously? You see all the problems that have been, we have been encountering all this while. If we keep quiet until the situation get deteriorated, that is when it will come. It will not come, and at the end of the day, it will not begin to put all this uh, fire brigade approach. They know what they are doing. But one thing, for as many who trusted him, for as many who believed in him, for as many who used all their hearts to support him, and at the end of the day, he made a U-turn and tried to be smart and putting the country into this mess, all of them, himself and the rest of them, they will never escape God's judgment. <clears throat> Someone is asking, when did Obasan just say so? Is it in the year 2015 or 2019? Because I know that you and Obasan Joe were staunch supporters of Buhari emergence as president of Nigeria. I think that should be in 2019. When was that? Unless you are talking of 2019 election because Baba supported him in 2015 elections because of course everybody everybody is aware of that. Everybody is aware of that. But Yoruba still remained adamant <laughs> and walked millions of humankind into dungeon for eight years just because of a single man inordinate ambition. Until we begin to be selfish when it comes to the situation or the things in this country. Until you begin to be selfish. Stop following all these uh, people. But there's nothing, no amount of uh, advice that one is going to be giving to people. Those who are going to be following them. Some people have already purported in their hearts that they want to go with all these politicians, irrespective of whatever. If they see one politician moves to one party in the morning, 
all of them they will rush and follow him in the afternoon if the person say who that is it follow 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 because they have weaponized uh, people with poverty they have made things on un un unimaginable because a lot of people do not even believe in themselves they just believe that uh, those who have already made it let them just stay under their umbrella so that they will continue to get irrespective of anything they will at least at all at all not a bad path something was for because no matter what you say some people still not listen because at the end of the day it is glaring that these so-called politicians do not have your interest at heart even about some job I think two years ago, he was telling us about a fulanization and Islamization, and all of those things are playing out. And all of a sudden, Gumi just came to him. The next thing, they started making arrangements on how to give amnesty to bandits. Because the reason why he, he, he attended to Gumi, Gumi who is encouraging criminality. Today, they will say one thing, and the other day, they will begin to tell you another thing. It's just unfortunate, very, very, very unfortunate and ridiculous. Very unfortunate. And the, who are the people who are suffering it the more? The more, the most. It is the masses. Because irrespective of anything, these uh, politicians, they still have a small, small change that they can still fall back on. If what's come to what majority of them, they have a second passport. They fly out. They fly out. The only thing that hurts them is because of uh, they are not relevant, they are not given uh, one opportunity or maybe all this uh, contract or appointment. Even this of Yulala, had he been, he has been given one assignment or one appointment or giving contract. He won't say, you won't hear him talk. He won't say anything. Do you expect somebody like a Joey Bokwe to come and be saying another thing, to be saying the truth? Because this man is still part of the APC people too. So why is it that a, a Joey Bokwe is saying something different? Because that one is sitting on the table at least as we speak. But majority of them who are now talking now, maybe because they now, they don't have any contract or they don't have any appointment or portfolio attached to their names that is why you are hearing them talk ah, Obasan just said this Obasan just said that they put Nigerians to all into this mess and like I've always said if this kind of situation presents itself what will be the stand of Nigerians what will be their stand how are they going to make decisions it's very difficult for you to tell somebody that uh, oh they want to share 5,000 naira. somebody who has not even seen 1,000 naira for the past uh, one year <laughs> you just see 5,000 just like that what will it take? I beg you, let me collect this it's very very difficult and these politicians they know what they are doing and unfortunately they themselves they are not even enjoying themselves because when you see them they are looking so so tattered they are looking so unkept no peace for the wicked no peace for the wicked all of them are now coming back and regretting it's unfortunate so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this